This week's question comes from one of my YouTube subscribers. Nathaniel writes, is Skype safe or not? I've seen how popular Skype is, but exactly how safe is it? Well, Skype revolutionized the idea of what should be charged for long distance calling. I travel a lot for work, having visited 44 countries on six continents, and Skype allowed me to stay connected to my family while I was away. But does that mean it's safe? Well, let's put 60 seconds on the clock for how safe is Skype. Well, Skype works by sending your phone calls and texts across a Skype peer-to-peer -peer network. This allows all the calls to remain digital, and Skype uses the advanced encryption system with 256-bit encryption keys to keep your calls safe and secure while transiting this network. So if you're making a Skype-to-Skype -Skype call, it's relatively safe because it's encrypted from your device to the server and then back to your endpoint. But the first problem we find is that when you use Skype and you call a cell phone or a landline, it has to go through the public switch telephone network. This does not support any protections or encryptions, making your call subject to an interception. Second, there are specific malware variants that have been designed to target Skype. In 2016, Palo Alto Networks found one called the T9000, which recorded an infected users' video, audio, and chat logs, and sent them up to a server. Third, Skype has been used by attackers to determine a user's IP address. As an attacker, I use that IP to begin scanning your machine for vulnerabilities. I find a vulnerability and use that to hack into your machine. The bottom line, Skype has its benefits and drawbacks. Overall, it's safe, but because of the popularity, it's drawn to the attention of malicious actors as well. If you've enjoyed this week's Cybersecurity Minute, please click here to subscribe. If you have a question, please post it in the comments below. 